All right, now if you remember, I had posted a video about this phone lapse, which is a hidden feature inside the phone application, which opens the door to some of the hidden features such as fake call settings, disabling proximity sensors, call accept reject button actions, etc. And these features were working perfectly fine on One UI 4.0. However, after One UI 5.0 and 5.1, the hidden phone labs stopped working. But now I have somehow figured out a way to make it work to some extent at least. So in this video, let's take a look at that. Earlier to enable this feature, we used to go to phone application, tap on the three dot button and go to settings. And here we could tap on about phone and tap on this version number multiple times to enable phone labs. But then Samsung completely disabled this. It completely stopped working. But now with shortcut maker application, we will be able to add phone lab shortcuts on the home screen to access some of the hidden features. First of all, kudos to the app developers of Shortcut Maker. This app is certainly a wonder. We can create so many different shortcuts from the system settings or shortcuts for any of the hidden features or files on the phone, which can be added on the home screen for a quicker access. As you can see, this is the app. Now here, all you need to do is tap on activities and search for labs. As you can see, it's showing labs in call settings as well as settings. Now you need to tap on call. Here you have got labs. I will just tap on this. It will take you to the shortcut creator page. Now here you can just tap on create shortcut or you can change the icon label by clicking on this option here. Now I'll just tap on create shortcut. Here it says add to home screen. I'll tap on add. Here we go. We have got call lab shortcut added on the home screen now. Now let's tap on this icon here. As you can see, we have got access to some of the hidden features. The first one is fake call settings. Again, now this is not working perfectly. Uh, we need to make some changes here for this feature to work. Let me tap on this. Now what this does is this allows us to fake an incoming phone call or we can also place an outgoing phone call through these options here. And we also have this input delay time. This was working perfectly fine in the previous iterations of One UI. We could actually set a specific time, let's say 20 seconds or 30 seconds or 60 seconds, after which we will get an incoming fake call or we can place an outgoing fake call. Now, the first thing you need to do is in case if you see any input delay time already being added here, uh, just tap on this and make it zero because uh, with any input delay time, this feature is not working, at least on my device. You can try it with the input delay time. If it works, do let us know in the comment section. If it doesn't work, just change this input delay time to zero or uh, it should show not set. And then when you add an incoming call, instantly you will get that incoming call from the number which you have selected or which you have set right here on top. You can also set a caller display name for this. Whenever you tap on add a new incoming call, you will get a fake call right here on your food. You can even accept that call and this is how it looks. This looks exactly like you are talking to somebody. We have got the calling page here with call time being recorded. So just in case in any situations you want to get rid of someone or you want to get out of a meeting, you can just fake a call like this and move out of that place talking over the food. This may come in handy in some situations for sure, at least for some people out there. Now, apart from this, we have got a few more options here. We've got disable proximity sensor, call accept reject button actions. Uh, we can select single tap, double tap, long press or default. And then we have two toggles here, disable the end call screen, contact photo call background. When you enable this, it will display a contact photo which you have already set as a call background. These are some useful hidden features we have got on phone labs thanks to Shortcut Maker application which has enabled us to use this particular feature now. I don't know how long it's going to work but if you're interested you can enable this feature using Shortcut Maker application. I will leave a link for this app in the description. Go ahead and check it out and while you do that be sure you subscribe to the channel and let me know what do you think about this video or uh, this particular feature in the comment section. Thanks for watching you guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.